How did I do that? I just talked to the camera for five, ten minutes. I can't ever remember that the little red dot blinks while you're recording. I wonder if I just forgot to turn it on or what. Well, I've talked enough tonight, this morning, last tonight, this morning, now it's 10 in the morning. Oh, 954. Wow. Uh, it's, I've talked enough that I, I need a cough drop now. But, uh, okay. I'm doing a test. This is uh, a camera, camera set at 12 megapixels. And the audio hopefully is working. It's... Um, my lapel, my dual lapel mics going to phone two, a little app that come came with the Bluetooth receive sender receiver, but I'm in receive mode. It's plugged, it's in receive mode of, and plugged in directly into the mic input on the camera. A while ago, I forgot to turn the app into send mode. I just had it all opened up and it looked like it was ready to go, but I didn't didn't get my magnifying glass to double check and I couldn't see it so good as I thought I could. So. Let's see if we're getting audio and if the picture looks any better. Uh, the CMOS sensor in the camera is a Sony 13 megapixel CMOS. And you can they only give you certain choices. So 12 was the closest to 13 megapixel, which is just right. You know, give it a little headroom because they prob you probably can't actually do, you know, 13 megapixels anyway. And, uh, I mean, if it really is a Sony sensor. I did look it up. I think I look up the part number. Well, of course, I haven't opened the camera, but the part number they say they put in it, it does show up to be a thir Sony 13 megapixel. And so to get up beyond its, uh, you know, what it can do, it's by its, on its own. They're using software to upconvert it. But I don't, it doesn't look good. Um, but I got one really good video and... Uh, and these areas where you can set the megapixels, I just discovered how to do that. Uh, well, it might have been a month ago now, but I never could get, I never knew how to get into that area. And I said, I've talked about that several times now in the videos, but I, I'm kind of getting it down now. I'm, I can figure out how to get into each area that I want to be in. So now I can turn the anti shake or, you know, on and off. I can forget. I forget what everybody, everybody, you know, all the other cameras, companies call it, but uh, motion uh, stabilization. They call it anti shake, and it's not real good anyway. But uh, one video, I well, I was doing, I had in, set, built, set up a shelf for my new 4K TV, and then I was setting the TV up, and I turned on the camera and started, and I aimed at the TV, and it wouldn't auto adjust, and I didn't even, well, sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't, depending on exactly how you had it aimed at it. And I said, I had it aimed at a white, you know, it was white for forever. I did like 11 videos, but I wasn't, uh, I was too busy working to keep w watching that tiny little screen over there to see what's going on. So let's stop this and I'll d download it to the computer and see if this is, see which 